Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you my way of pre-drawing. I will share with you some crucial information about this very important part of the procedure. So, if you are interested, keep on watching. Today I will do the pre-drawing on my beautiful model Lydia. As you can see, her eyebrows are slightly uneven. She looks very delicate and with the drawing I want to balance her eyebrows and make them symmetrical and of course I want her to allow me to do her brows permanently. I start the procedure by cleaning and disinfecting the skin and next I twist and shape brows and then I start my pre-drawing. For the pre-drawing, I use my rulers, which I'm sure you have seen on my channel. Lydia has brows with medium arch, so today I will use a ruler for clients with medium arch. I stick the ruler while I stand behind Lydia, and when looking for a middle part of the face, focus on top part of the nose, not the tip of the nose. Middle part of the ruler should help you to stick it in the right position. The line in the middle should be straight with flat, perfectly sharpened pencil, um, mark the beginning of the brow, arch and tail. On the ruler we have two colors, blue and red. And depending where the brow starts, we mark all three points. On Lydia's brows, I will follow red marking points and beginning will start at one, arch at four and a half centimeter and tail at seven. Of course, there are some exceptions and sometimes I do brow shorter or I mark beginning somewhere in between red and blue mark, but in 90% of cases, I trust the guide. Remember that there is no rule when it comes to the middle part of the ruler. Um, measurement will change whenever you stick the ruler higher or lower. Um, the point here is to draw the bottom line on the same level. Remember to draw lines precisely and use light pressure. And of course, in case line is too intense, too thick, um, you have to wipe it off and draw it again. If you place the ruler straight and close the top part uh, of the brow, you can also mark highest point on both sides. So um, your arch remove the ruler and keep it don't throw it away it is very useful to double check drawing as well as your final work now focus this step is unbelievably important we have to drag the pencil on the temple i am sure you have seen this step multiple times and today i would try to explain to you um, how to do it properly we will draw the line that will show us exact direction of the tail. I place at the side of the pencil tip, right close to marked arch. I hold pencil flat on the skin and I slowly drag it towards the ear. Make sure you place pencil correctly, don't use pressure and focus while watching how I do it. Line on the left temple we draw standing on the right side of the bed and right we will draw standing on the left side of the bed. This step might be annoying at first, but as soon as you get it, you will see how much it helps to draw symmetrical tails. And as I said before, I don't use any pressure. I allow the temple to um, show me direction of the line. I hope this makes sense. Next step is symmetry check. Stand behind the client, ask her to lift the chin up, place your thumbs as I did and pull the skin up and remember to place thumbs on the same level with the rest of your fingers pull the skin towards side so basically just try to stretch the skin first towards the forehead so upward and then to both sides if any lines are not symmetrical for example line that's supposed to be our bottom border line is on different level or your temple line has different direction or a shape, you have to repeat this step. So remove any lines that are not um, similar or you are not happy with, draw them again and one more time um, check the symmetry. Next, we have to draw the line on the top part of the tail. So lines should be parallel and you have to take your time and do it slowly and lightly. 
but remember that it's your job to make sure it's straight and parallel. And sometimes, as you can see on the video, um, I have to correct the line I have already drawn. Moving next, I draw the bottom line um, that will create the tail. And you have to remember that brow is nothing else than four straight lines with round areas at the arch, under the arch, and of course uh, with soft beginning. As you can see, first I mark point under the arch, then I draw bottom part of the tail. I connect both lines and I clean up any unevenness with a precise stick. When I stretch the skin, I pull the skin down with my thumb and then I bring it slightly up, yes, with my pointing finger. This way I don't change the shape of the brow, but skin is tightened and it's easier to draw the line. First, I pull the skin towards the ear. Then I place my thumb in between brows and I pull it slightly up and I draw a straight line on the bottom part of the brow. Use short movements and don't be afraid to place your hand on client's face or to move her head. You have to have comfortable position. Before I fill in the brow, I check symmetry as I did with first step. I place my thumbs on the same level, I stand behind a client, pull the skin up, I stretch it to both sides and um, I ask my client to sit up to double check it and when I'm happy uh, with my drawing um, I can move to filling in brows with pencil. To fill in brows, I use bold brows pencil called Needed Me. I start at the tail and slowly I move towards the bow. I do pay attention to how I fill it in. I want to create ombre effect, so I make it more intense in areas like tail, middle part and the bottom part of the brow. At this stage, you have to be gentle and you have to control your pressure. If I see too much of the product on the skin, I brush it off. Next, I clean all the lines and area around the brow.
and with precise stick I clean edges of the brow and if there is any hair outside my pre-drawing I pluck them out. With dry cotton swab I smudge beginning I do like to fill in the brows to visualize the shape of the brows to my client because I want her to be 100% sure about proposed shape. When there are visible gaps and difference in between natural brows and the drawing, I like to use darker flat pencil to draw hair-like strokes. On Lydia, I used black pencil, but again, because of my light pressure and constant saturation control, it came out beautifully and her brows blended with the drawing. Before I move to concealer, I check the symmetry from behind and when client sits up. When you want to outline brows, there are some rules you should remember. First, always use concealer in a shade of tone, max two tones lighter than the skin of your client. I use concealer which can be found on Quantum Store, but you can use any concealer as long as they are not too transparent, um, too thick or too dry. And to outline, I use flat brush with very fine and round tip and using precise brush is a must if you want to create very fine outline. Bottom part of both brows we outline from right side of the bed and top part we will outline uh, from the left side of the bed. This way your hand position and hand movement will feel more natural and for sure your line will be more precise.
I stretch the skin in the same way I did when I was drawing bottom line. I apply concealer exactly in the place where my pencil is. The point is to create a border that will become our guideline during contouring the brow with the needle. Look at the shape of the tail. Both lines are straight and arch is soft. When you outline the top part, you have to be careful to not to change the position uh, of the arch or to not to make the tail shorter or longer. It is good to double check drawing with a ruler. Top part of both brows I outlined standing from behind and from the left side of the bed. And you can also check um, the thickness of the brow with any other measurement tool. Again, check your drawing and sitting position, show brows to your client, ask her if she sees anything that should be corrected, and if she accepts the shape, it is time to set the drawing with translucent powder. Translucent powder um, is my last step. It prevents the drawing from smudging and smearing, and I do apply it with dry cotton pad. I tap the product on the brow properly and uh, when I'm ready I wipe it off with same cotton dry pad and with a brush or a cotton bud I remove the rest uh, from bet between uh, the hair. And that's my way of pre-drawing. With such a template I can start the procedure. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I've listed all the products in the description box down below. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give a thumbs up and I will see you on the next one. Bye.